What is up? This is Dragon Slayer. I'm streaming live on Twitch. I'm playing World of Warcraft Classic. Welcome to our daily grind. Right, this is my Tauren Warrior. It's my tank. But right now I've got two handed weapon equipped for leveling. And as you can see, I do have a shield and axe in case we need it. It's level, what, 18? Let's see. Yes. What is it? Embrace yep. the shadow. Alright, as you can see, it's Halloween time in World of Warcraft. Right? We've implemented the holiday, but as far as I could tell, there aren't any quests associated with it. Just uh, apples. <laughs> ah, you frickin' apples. I suppose I could sell that, right? Probably not going to need it. I have exactly what you need. Armor's good. Our time right. will come. So, just want to take a look at my build so far and what I'm shooting for <clears throat> this is the goal right going 31 prot 11 arms 9 fury and uh, where I screwed up my build so this needs to be 5 of 5 here instead of 3 in the anticipation need five in the shield spec so we have to spend a gold to get that straightened out but of course at the moment I don't have any gold so let's continue forward All right, so let's take a look at the quest we have. One of my few characters has not finished up Silver Pine quests. Talk to Renfrol, alchemist over here. What is it? And a travel quest to the Undercity. Okay, we still have border crossings, Argos Folly, where we go into the cave, Decrepit Ferry. I call this Argos Ferry. It's Argos Folly, right? This is Decrepit Ferry. So we will move east and then south. Notice the N up top here. That's north. So we're moving east. Just for those of you that can't read a compass. <laughs> All right, we're continuing to level this tune as well as the rest of my tunes. I've got nine characters and they're all around this level outside of my main which is now level 28. Bro. 
Alright, I have sharpening stones, but I don't have anything for this two-handed weapon to buff it up. So this might be a little slow. Moving out. Right, and we're moving east to the Decrepit Ferry. We'll knock that out quickly. Of course, that's a travel quest. Memory serves. Could be going the wrong way entirely. It's possible. Oh, Decrepit Ferry. Here we are. We gotta go to the other side here. The boat by the docks. Here's the boat. All right, and this travel quest will take me back. of Sepulcher, then Bro, and the Undercity. So we'll hold off on knocking that out. So I should grab this from here. Right now we're heading south toward to complete the Argos Folly quest. Argos Fo Argos Folly <clears throat> is a quest line in Silver Pine. I think this is the third quest in the quest line.
Now this can be a challenging quest for a solo player, but <clears throat> giving them six levels higher than these guys, I do it pretty quickly. Like the music. Although it does seem a little loud. And it was set the way I wanted it. Well, let's see. That is set the way I want it. It's still loud. Let's just go ahead and make an adjustment here. Not that. Okay. Let's see what it sounds like. It's going to say that I made an adjustment to the graphics and that some point I had reset the defaults and I think the audio got reset as well but right this guy I don't think I'm wrong on that, just I think I already made the adjustment and apparently that <clears throat> the audio is a global setting for the entire account, not just one character. guys down Pretty good here. Come on, just kill him. Kill him. <sighs> yeah, again, this isn't. I mean, even for this guy, not exactly an uh, easy place or easy for a single player because you can and will get mobbed, especially if you're not careful with your pulls. <clears throat> Nonetheless, still alive. Right, good to go. So one way to be more careful with my pole. Use my gun. on work.
let me mine it four times. Got some tin and some quartz stones. <clears throat> Got him. Right now we'll continue heading south and east. Kill these guys. Got him. Right. Uh oh. So, border crossings. Location is north of. Oh, what's the name of the town? It's not on my map yet because I suck. Haven't been down there yet. Pyrewood Village. Okay, so look at the map. Pyrewood Village is here. And what we're looking for is north of here, right? So, again, north, we're heading south. And this is north of Pyrewood Village. And this is where we need to be. But let's just take a look. We'll go down to Pyrewood Village. Should use hamstring. Didn't matter in that case. Right, so here is the firewood village. Here's Shadowfang Keep. Okay, so what is north? We want to go to the border crossings quest, which is north of Pyrewood Village. No elites, doesn't need to be considered an elite quest. So yeah, this is, goes back to some uh, fusion some players had about 
retrieve the contents of one of the Dalaran Wizard's crates, you will find Pyrewood Village to the south. Right? Well, they didn't read the quest, apparently. Uh, to see that where they you needed to go north of the Pyrewood Village. Because they thought it should be considered an elite quest. Like, well, no, guy. You're not going to Pyrewood Village. You're going north of Pyrewood Village. And there was another guy who thought north was this direction. It was down at the wall here. And it's like, well, why are all the enemies, like, level 19 and level 20? I'm south of Pyrewood Village. No, you're not, guy. He <laughs> just thought this was north when it's actually south. Again, north. <laughs> Come on, people. See? This arrow represents your character. It means you're going north. <laughs> Bunch of damn LTs on. Some lieutenants. Trying to use a compass. Wasn't working out for them. Anyways. Told that story a few times, but then again, I've run this quest a few times. <laughs> and I usually tell it every time I do, because, well, frankly, it's hilarious. <laughs> Border crossing should be an elite quest. Why? There's no elites here. It is kind of a tough quest, but you can get easy, you can easily get mobbed, right? And the frickin' mages. Got him. Of course, since they're mages, you can't really pull them with a gun because they'll just sit there and beam you with magic spells. You gotta kind of be careful so you don't pull the entire freaking camp. Then again, it shouldn't make too much of a difference given what level I am compared to what level they are. And boom, we have completed the quest. Too easy, right? No elites, no level 19s or 20s. Some people, some people's kids. <laughs> but I think after I explained it to them in chat, after making fun of them a little bit, they finally got it. Border crossings. It's become one of my favorite quests just because of that. Right. Of course, that was towards the beginning of, or, uh, just after release of WoW Classic, and of course now Zone Zone Chat was live and well here in Silver Pine. At that point, not so much anymore, right? Everyone's kind of moved on. Of course, we have plenty of happening in the Looking for Group chat. Now, since this guy is my tank, I really should just be paying attention to looking for group and getting into dungeons and leveling that way. It would no, go, no doubt go a lot faster for this character if I did that, and I'd no doubt have better gear than the path I'm taking right now, but 
Well, certainly I do plan on tanking WC with this character at some point. Probably soon. But not today. Maybe next time I hop on this guy. And I generally like to run dungeons with my bro and on my healer, my undead priest. But, I mean, hey, shouldn't be hard to get into a group as a tank, right? Right, now that we've completed those three quests, we'll head back up here. Turn in. Maps and runes. <laughs> Do you know how to read a map? <laughs> Our time will right. Come. Shortest travel quest in the game. Speak quickly. Dark lady, watch over you. Remember, patience, discipline. That knocks out that travel quest, right? <laughs> Alright, let's see where we're at. We've got the two elite quests. So I have the Amber Mill investigations to knock out, right? Let's get our other travel quest. What would you ask of death? Farewell. Right, the other quest that guy has is a dungeon quest. I won't be doing that dungeon for another couple levels, so given the state of My damn quest log. We're going to avoid that for now. Even though we already have two quests for SFK. I do like that uh, dungeon. Be running it soon, I imagine. Probably after WC, right? Alright, so we have a number of travel quests. This one. And. Oh, we had another one. I was wrong. I am forsaken. Oh, we need to trust take no that. One. All right, that's our other travel quest for Lila's Ring. That takes us to Brill and then back to the Undercity. So we'll travel over to the Undercity. I got the quest at Brill. Let's just. 
make sure I'm not getting ahead of myself here. Bro, right. And then it'll take us to the UC. I'm listening. Trust no one. And we'll do some inventory management. After we knock out this quest. Speaking of management, probably don't need all these quests in my quest log. Probably get them back pretty quickly. work to do over uh, in the barrens as well. I almost feel like I should just skip all that crap and just do dungeons to level. My inventory is fairly full. Wrong way, didn't I? Yes, I did. <clears throat> Anyways, again, head start on the inventory management. Go ahead and send this off to. Oh, crap, I've got a whole bunch of crap, don't I? Right. Looks like I'm going to be working on some uh, on my profession on blacksmithing. There were some blacksmithing supplies or materials so I can make room in my bank and level, of course, right? I level my blacksmithing. Now let's see. First things first though. Send him this crappy level six shield. It's actually a good shield, but 
and strength and stamina. That's what you're looking for, right? But none of my characters are anywhere near level six, so. All right, let's head over to Brill. And we'll come back. Is a big jack o' lantern. Moving over to Brill, drop off this quest, and that will have us traveling back to UC. So we'll go back there, and there's two quests, there will be two quests to drop off there, and then we will work on some profession, or on blacksmithing, my profession. So where are we at with blacksmithing? 103. Blacksmithing, 97 for mining. Might be my lowest crafter right now. to Raleigh in, at the Ender City. He's one of the cooks. You clearly need to die. <laughs> Is that cruel and unusual? I hope so. One of my favorite mounts right there. Is a 
rare drop in one of the later dungeons. Was it Sholomance? Maybe? I forget. one in the eastern wastelands, right? Not the western. Right. Here's Raleigh. What now? The ex-chef. over to the gray main wall it's that wall in silver pine that I was telling you about with the level 19s and 20s here all right let's get our inventory management rolling what do you require I guess we should turn in that other quest. Let's see where we're we going here. I think we're going to Mage's Quarter. Sing. No, this is an apothecary. Apothecary. should just grab my <clears throat> gear because I'm going to need it here shortly. And by gear, I mean... I should also get my mail while I'm at it. Got a lot of freaking mail. A little woolen bag. That'll help. Right. Do I need this? Yeah, it's an upgrade. Should sell some of these.
rough stones are going for these days. <laughs> One goal in 25 stone. <laughs> Is that all of them? Yeah. So 13 are going for 377. Let's just call it an even four. <clears throat> Be happy if I could get four silver out of it. No easy way to get over to the apothecarium. <clears throat> I guess the thing that's going through my mind right now in terms of game design is, especially compared to the Elder Scrolls Online, man, this game is slow. I feel like I've been walking for a half hour. No fights, just walking. Probably not the best design decision. And having to wait till level 40 to get a mount doesn't help either. You end up wasting half your time playing this game just walking around. Going to the same places you've always gone to. Right. It's probably the most annoying thing about MMOs. That's why Elder Scrolls Online is superior. <coughs> superior! <laughs> Probably why I've been playing a lot more of that lately. I don't have to wait to get into the action. What now? God forbid you go the wrong way. <laughs> right? I guess it's not quite as bad once you get them out. Still not great. Right, I'm going the wrong way. That doesn't help either when you go the wrong way. Man, my guy's just so slow. Right, anyways. Where? Right. I guess if I don't like the slow pace of this game, I don't have to play it. <laughs> Where? see. I'm listening. 
victory for Sylvanas. All right, let's do some crafting then. First, we need to smelt. So I'll clear up some inventory space. At least two spaces. Now, one thing I do like over, or I do like about World of Warcraft's classics uh, game design over, say, ESOs is, I mean, there's a lot of different items that you gotta hold on to in this game. But the amount of items you got in ESO is just ridiculous. Just no reason for it. I mean, uh, inventory management's a pain in either game, but I guess on the plus side, ESO does have the crafting bag, which helps a lot. But for instance, <clears throat> in ESO, you have to research traits that you find on various pieces of armor and weapons that allows you to craft them or to craft it. Uh, various crafting stations. For instance, some craftable weapons and armor require you to have uh, to have uh, five traits uh, or eight traits or nine traits even uh, researched for a particular piece of armor. So if you want to craft, say, a, uh, a mage's robe for, uh, well, we'll say the Eyes of Mara robe, you have to have eight traits uh, researched for robes. Um, and that means in, in the process of researching those traits, you end up hanging on to uh, pieces of armor that have the traits you want to research for long periods of time. It just, it really becomes a mess, right? It's a pain. There's no reason for it. It's not really that fun. Uh, but, yeah, again, that's one of the things I like about this game. There aren't nearly as many items as, say, as an ESO that you have to worry about keeping. Pretty nice. Won't be needing th those plans for a while on um, this soon. I'll use my only blacksmith, but anyways. Okay, so what was I doing? Oh, so I should smelt these. Create some more bronze.
That'll help. I need wool cloth. Crap. <laughs> So I guess we'll make these instead. Alright, looks like the easiest thing to make be these guys. Let's create two to get up to the next thing here. Right up to 105. Speak quickly. Hello. Shoulders. That'd be useful. One twenty five. Let's see. Of course, level twenty. Victory for Sylvanas. I haven't got all day. And what I have, the armor slightly better on this rune copper belt, but it's not green. So we'll stick with what we have. Slightly better than what I'm wearing as far as armor. I don't really need spirit. 
it's only slightly better in terms of stamina. I think I'll keep what I have, but easy to make, right? I suppose we should continue making these. Let's move all this stuff up here. <clears throat> Just make things easier when I go to sell these things. Good. What now? Beware, our enemies abound. This had better be good. No, I needed that for something. I need five of those. Five bronze bars. Right, we'll go grab the items I need. I need I'm going to make two shoulders, so I need two shadow gems. And we'll send this off to B. Uh, send that off to my enchanter for disenchantment.
Weber Prime, my enchanter slash tailor. And let's see. So we'll make a couple shoulders. One for me, and one for my other warrior. If there's anything else I can make, It'd be nice to get up to 125. I don't think that's going to happen today. So I buy some more bronze. More copper. I'm assuming my rogue would like these. I am forsaken. Trust no one. What is it? Beware the living. And my priest has a number of these. I send those to him.
or how much bronze bars are going for anyways. Probably too expensive for, for me. Oh well, the bronze bars. Looks like it. Right. Well, why not? Clearly doing something wrong here. Had a space in front of it, I guess. Right. Oh, cool. 50 silver for bronze, for a stack of bronze bars. It's not going to happen. So. Anyways, 121 is good enough for now. And we cleared out a significant amount of inventory. And have a lot more room now. Right? get rid of those or just put it in the bank for now be quick about your business watch your back Real snow guard. It's my other warrior. Can use those. And then I could use some more small illustrious pearls. Let's go ahead and do that. It's my main, Weber Prime. to send those things. I don't want to send wool cloth to anybody because frankly I could use all the wool cloth I can get from my tailor but it'd be useful for my warrior right now and he does need these small luscious pearls. So, so now to my blacksmith. Probably send him some money too seeing as he's Poe See how much linen cloth is going for these days. Got 
four silver buyout. Three eighty. Maybe as high as five. Just doesn't seem worth it to me in the long run. There's some brave souls. Apparently don't want to sell anything. Two gold for a stack of linen cloth. Okay, brah. <laughs> Get right on that. You know what? Probably just sell it. See how much I can get for vendoring it. I think it's like 250. Hell. 260. Yeah. Go in peace. Blood and thunder. Drink. Back to the geefer. All right. So, where are we at? We've still got. Ember Mill Investigations, Rot Hide Icker, My Husband's Revenge, Parents Peril, Sample for Helbrim, really help me but nonetheless <clears throat> go ahead and take care of that quest so oh wait that goes to the barons all right that's a travel quest for the barons so what we have left here to do are these two quests I guess we can knock this out although I usually knock it out around 19 or 20 these two quests probably take me to level 19 so right all right so that's gonna wrap it up for now usually I like to gain a full level right in these sessions but I have a few other real life tasks to take care of my cat is reminding me as we speak it's like hey Feed me, you. <laughs> and, uh, so I don't want her to have to wait for her meal. I mean, you know, ribs are sticking out below about an inch of fat. Huh, <laughs> kitty? Huh, <laughs> fatty fat? <laughs> Nonetheless, it is feeding time, so. Uh, right. What did we accomplish today? Knocked out a few quests in Silver Pine. Did not level, but did uh, work on some inventory management and crafting, getting this profession, guys' profession from, well, we're start at like 103 or something, up to 121. Cleared out some bank space. So we need to continue working on those cores. And that's about it. We'll pick it up next time with this character and get him leveled. And then continue on with the rest of the characters. You know, let me just... Okay, so we got a 28 to 21. We've got 
level 19. That's and well, most of my characters are level 18, right? So I'm in the process of getting the rest of these characters up to level 19. This guy's already 20. This guy's already 21. This guy's still 18. Right? All around the same level range between 18 and 21 besides this guy is level 28. Now I only play this guy once a week but we're usually doing dungeons or very focused questing and so it tends to race a little faster than the rest. The rest I'm usually on my own single player just doing quests right. Although I will say that I should be running a dungeon with this guy. WC awaits. Should probably run WC with her as well. So my other tank. Druid type. And I don't ever expect to get into dungeons with DPS. The only other choice for dungeons is this guy who will be a dedicated healer. And the rest are all DPS, right? This guy got another piece of armor. Getting closer to being an effective tank. Well, he already has an effective tank. I put a sword and shield on this guy, and he's got more than a thousand armor, and should be uh, more than enough for WC, which is what we'll be doing once we get to level 19. We could probably do it now, level 18, but I want to knock out the quests in Silver Pine, and then get back over to the Barrens. Do uh, WC and knock out those quests. Right. This guy, I'll probably like to level some more, just because I really like playing the rogue. He makes a lot of money because he can steal, he can pickpocket. I like it, and he's kind of a beast. This guy's a beast as well. And of course, this guy is probably my favorite character, Rail Snow Guard. He's going to be a DPS champion. Well, Fury Warrior with him, of course. Anyways, again, that'll wrap it up. And let's see, tonight for prime time. I'm not sure if I'll get back to playing World of Warcraft or not, but. Certainly, I will be on for prime time, and tonight's prime time starts at 2100. I'll be playing Elder Scrolls Online. I'll likely be leading a group for the Ebonheart Pact on the Below 50 campaign in Cyrodiil. Siege up. Team up and destroy our competition. It's what normally happens. So look for that right thank you twitch viewers appreciate y'all dragon slayer out